Before we get started, here's what you'll need. Garlic, horseradish, head of dill, salt, water, cucumbers, jars, and most importantly, patience. With an optional ingredient of mustard seeds, it's explained later. Pickles are a key side in many dishes and practically required as a garnish when cooking anything Eastern European. This recipe is one that's been passed down on my dad's side of the family for generations. It is super simple to make and tastes amazing. When selecting your cucumbers, it's best to use those that are on the smaller side. The economies of scale are on our side for this recipe. You don't ever really want to make just one jar of pickles. There's only a marginal difference in labor cost to make one jar than it is to make three. So just pick enough to get to three. It'll be worth it. Rinse the cucumbers, gently rubbing away any dirt, insects, or other unwanted objects that could be on the cucumbers. Don't neglect to rub off these spiky bits. This next part is technically optional, but strongly recommended. Soak your cucumbers in cool water for four to five hours to allow them to absorb some of the water and make them extra crunchy. If you bought your cucumbers from a farmer's market, it's possible they sat around for a couple of days after being picked, or it could have gone hot out and the plants didn't get a lot of water. This results in the cucumbers losing the water, and the pickling process can make them hollow and unappealing. Fill half the jars with water and pour it into a pot. Add two tablespoons of salt and set the water to boil. For those following along at home, I use a two tablespoon salt to five cup water ratio. Prepare and set aside your garlic, horseradish, and head of dill. We're very efficient with our time and waste none of it. While waiting for the water to boil, stuff the jars with your future pickles. You want them packed in, but don't force them in too hard. You don't want to bruise them because they'll just get mushy and gross. Slide the horseradish and garlic in. At the top, insert the head of dill, securing it with the topmost cucumber. Depending on how long you're planning on leaving the pickles alone, you could add in a sprinkle of mustard seeds to each jar. In the summertime, we go through jars of pickles about as fast as we can make them, so it doesn't make much sense to put in any mustard seeds because the flavors won't have time to seep in. But if you're making a large batch to have over the winter, they'll be left alone for several months, then you can add the mustard seeds. Pour in the boiling water, filling the jar up just under the brim, like as much as you're allowed to without spilling. Use a rag to help seal the jars. Wait at least one, maybe two weeks, or as long as you can hold back your hunger. An unopened jar can last several months in a cool environment, and some of ours have even pushed a full calendar year. With this recipe, as with most recipes, a lot of those steps are up to personal preference and taste. You can add more or less salt, more or less horseradish, or you can leave them in longer or shorter. You can even throw in some other ingredients. I've seen people throw in some sliced onions and bell peppers, peppercorns, or even paprika flakes. The recipe I've provided is a base recipe that has been with our family for ages. If you don't like something about this recipe, or if you have something that you'd like to try, change it and let me know how that goes for you. Thank you for watching this far, and if you have any comments, questions, or recipe suggestions, go ahead and leave them in the comments below, and I'll be sure to get back to you. Until next time.